I want to show you guys something that I'm really excited about, something we've been working on for quite some time now, years literally, if, if you get right down to it. Uh, this is our endless rotation steering connector. And basically what it is, is a device to interface between your steering wheel and your tubular steering column that eliminates the cords that you'd normally find that run from your steering wheel button down to your column somewhere, usually a zip tie or some kind of Typically, it's wires that run down to the steering column that are either zip tied in place. Sometimes there's a welded tab for a connector or something like that. This eliminates all that. What this allows you to do is freely spin the steering wheel 360 degrees. Uh, this is not a clock spring. This is not something that's just just normally been going on. This is an industrial an industrial rotation electrical contactor that we've kind of adapted down to work in this scenario. And what that allows you to do essentially is not have any cords between your steering wheel and your steering column. So you can turn it as many times as you want in either direction. You're not going to have cords wrapping around your column. This is my makeshift column right here. You're not going to have cords wrapping around this column, pulling out of the back of the button. You know, that seems to be a common theme. Uh, broken connections. A lot of times guys will have connections that are covered in heat shrink or something like that. And it'll actually be broken and they'll have intermittent problems and they won't even know it because it's, it's pulled it from the back of the button. So this eliminates those, those issues. And it also allows you to completely remove the steering wheel. So when you take your steering wheel off, you still don't have a cord that's attached back to your column. There's a lot of kits out there that allow you a better fitment for this stuff with one single cord and a connector or something like that. But even that still wraps around the column. And even, even that is still attached to your steering wheel. And there's some kits where, yes, you can literally pull, go down and, and pull a clip and, and unclip it and then take the steering wheel off. But with this, you know, this is two buttons completely wired up. There's no cords dangling whatsoever. You don't have to worry about any of that. That's not going to be hitting you in the knees. It's not going to be wrapping around the column. It's just not going to be there, which we feel like is a, a more superior way to make this connection happen. So these, these things, as I said, these things are basically an industrial contactor that have been shrunk down to our fitment sizes and we had to make our own specific case for this stuff to go in that way we could get the fit and the finish that we wanted these are all machined right here in north carolina anodized in north carolina and you know it's it's a very well thought out part like i say we several years ago we made one of these and we weren't happy with it and it's taken us until now to finally be happy with it so we have years of thought in this product the two the two pieces that rotate independently of each other uh, there is a bearing in between. There's no metal on metal contact. There is a sealed bearing inside of it that allows for this rotation to be as smooth as possible. There are clips that hold everything together so it can't physically just break apart. The wiring is color coded, as you can see, blue, yellow, red, black. And what that allows for is four circuits. So what I like to, or how I like to describe this is one common and then three activation wires. So that way you could run three, three individual buttons on your steering wheel and you know, through the advanced tuning tables and things like that in all modern ECUs, there's li literally an unlimited amount of possibilities out there for, for three buttons. So we feel like we've got you guys covered on that. On the side of the steering wheel, this piece is the side that bolts to the steering wheel. You'll see that is that the wiring comes off with a black wire on both sides. And what that's intended to be is your common. And we did that. That way you didn't have to loop something back over to the other side and make a, a funny little loop or something like that. So if you are running both buttons on each side of the hub or each side of the steering wheel, you have a common on each side. That way you can tie those buttons into that common and then the other side can tie into the, the additional common. Just making it for a cleaner install. So with the common being on both sides, you can run ground or power as your common, whichever you choose. I like to run ground as common. That's my thing. You guys do what you want or what you need to do. The System is load rated at three amps, so each circuit is good for three amps. This isn't intended to connect directly to your nitrous solenoid or directly to your trans brake solenoid. It's intended to be an activation signal. Yeah. Something else that's nice about this product is that we were weight conscious when designing it. The previous version that we had made years ago was kind of bulky and heavy, and we didn't like that. It was one of the things we didn't like. And so when we took the clean sheet approach on this device, that was one of the goals was to make it as light as we could. And this thing only weighs 10 ounces. Commonly asked questions that our fans on social media have asked, is this stable enough 
for certain components. Are there any components where this would not be a stable enough connection for? Uh, the only thing I would say, again, would be the keep the load rating in mind. So free amps, don't go over that. If you're using it as an activation input for your ECU, it's not even going to see one amp. So yes, it's fine for that. As long as you're using it as an activation and not the actual power source, it's just fine for anything. And so it would be reliable for things like a parachute signal as long as you're within the load capacity. Yeah, absolutely. You've mentioned the applications. Will it work with a steering column extension as long as it's one, one and a quarter inch? Uh, yeah, so the extension really plays no part in it. Um, when you look at steering extensions, they bolt on here, and then your quick connect is still down here at the column side. So it makes no difference. You just put this down at the bottom of the extension instead of right on the steering wheel. Uh, that being said, uh, this is not designed for stock columns. Correct. Yeah, it's not intended for stock columns in any way. It's, it's, too, uh, it's too difficult, and there's too many different stock steering columns to try to design something for every one of them. So it's got four circuits. And what I like to say is that it has one common and three active. So you can run three switched buttons on your steering wheel, all off of one single common, which means all of your activations will either be power or ground. And then you have three buttons on your steering wheel. And again, with, any, with modern ECUs and stuff, I mean, you can use the same button to do five different things. So if you, if you like having a vehicle that drives like a Nintendo, that's cool. You can put three buttons on it and have them do 90 different things if that's what you choose to do. And technically, if you wanted to do like one as a ground activation, one as a positive activation, you could do that. Yeah, you could do that. Two buttons. You so can do that. You'd just be limited to having two buttons. Yeah, so you could also run, so let's just say if you wanted to run one activated on 12 volt and one activated on ground, you can do two buttons and use your common uh, for one button, which I say common because when I say common, I mean it has multiple wires hooked to that. That way, it has multiple wires hooked to that pin. That way you can run all of your signal through that one pin. So if you wanted to do 12 volt activation on one and ground activation on another button, you can do that, but you're only, you're going to be limited to having two buttons instead of three. Is it a clock spring? It is not a clock spring. Seems like people want to comment that a lot because that's the easiest thing for them to do. No, it's not a clock spring. A clock spring, if you grab a clock spring and rotate it and rotate it and rotate it, it's going to break. It's not going to work anymore. So no, that's not what this is. This thing will just spin infinitely with no... It doesn't change in tension as you turn it. You know, no, no, none of that. It's not a clock spring. So guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this product or anything we offer, you can leave it in the comments below or you can reach out to us at support at tech-performance.com and we'll be more than happy to take care of any questions you have.